Blue Sky Plan now contains AI-driven automatic implant planning. In this training tutorial, I will present the almost completely automated step-by-step -step process flow to load the data, automatically position the implant, and create the surgical guide. Blue Sky Plan and Blue Sky Bio Digital Products now contains a significant amount of artificial intelligence automation to improve and streamline digital dentistry, including automatic nerve detection, automatic implant placement, automatic STL teeth annotation, automatic STL teeth segmentation, automatic CT tooth segmentation, automatic model to CT alignment, automatic 2D smile simulation, automatic cephalometric analysis, automatic model alignment coming soon, and automatic bone segmentation coming soon. There are several other artificial intelligence automation projects that are currently in the works and I'm itching to tell you about, but they're a bit farther away, so we'll leave that for a different time. Artificial intelligence automatic implant placement is a game-changing development in dentistry. Algorithms analyze patient data to design personalized implant placement with greater accuracy and efficiency, resulting in faster and more cost-effective treatments. The automatic implant placement takes into account a wide range of factors such as bone density, bone volume, and anatomical variations. Dentists can design implant placement plans quickly, tailored to the specific patient, resulting in a more accurate and precise implant placement. I'll now take you through the step-by-step -step process flow in the Blue Sky Plan software, demonstrating each stage of the process. This is really the easiest and most straightforward and the best way to get started with digital implant planning as at every step of the process you're prompted exactly what to do next and most of the process is powered by artificial intelligence and is automated. Okay, we're going to start by clicking on implant planning and surgical guides and selecting the option for one or two implant case. The welcome screen prompts you to select the import type and the kit type. Regarding the import type, today it's almost always model STL, but we have additional import process flows for situations where you don't have a model scan available, and you can import various CT scans, including a model or an impression. Regarding the kit type, Blue Sky Plan now has around 70 different implant systems in Blue Sky Plan with a wide variety of different surgical kit types. We, of course, recommend the use of the Blue Sky Bio implants and the Blue Sky Bio Fully Guided Surgical Kit, but select the relevant kit. And by doing so, Blue Sky Plan will do all the measurements and calculations for you. At no point will you be prompted to enter any measurements or any specific information regarding the surgical kit, the drilling depth, or anything else. So now that you have the import type selected to model STL and the kit type, hopefully selected to Blue Sky Bio Fully Guide Surgical Kit, go ahead and click on OK. The software now prompts you to load your DICOM CT data. It's showing you your computer's folders and directory, and you have shortcut buttons on the top to your desktop, to your documents, to your downloads, and to your network if relevant. Navigate through the folders and the directory to find the CT scan. Blue Sky Plan was built to be as versatile and robust as possible. So you could load compressed DICOMs, uncompressed DICOMs, zipped DICOMs, unzipped DICOMs. Almost all the possibilities of existing DICOMs can be loaded into Blue Sky Plan. Select the relevant folder or file by clicking with your left mouse button and click OK. The software now prompts you to define the relevant field of view. Simply use your left mouse button to grab and to drag any of the yellow borders and drag them inwards. By defining the relevant field of view, you will see that relevant section much larger in the software and it will reduce the processing power and amount of resources necessary for your computer to proceed with the implant planning. Once you've defined the relevant field of view, select OK. The software is now automatically detecting the nerves and you can see the detected nerves in all the views on your screen, 2D and 3D views. This happened completely automatically by the software. 
If you want to fine tune the placement of any of the nerves, simply grab the nodes in the 2D views and use your left mouse button to grab and to drag them. Once you have confirmed the nerve placement, simply click on next. The software now prompts you to select the model scan. So once again, you have your computer's directory with the shortcut buttons going across the top. Simply navigate to the relevant model scan, select it by clicking with your left mouse button. You have a preview on the right hand side that you could rotate by grabbing and dragging with your left mouse button or zooming in and out by holding the right button and moving your mouse backwards and forwards. Once you've selected the correct model scan, simply click on OK. Click on the relevant model type and the software will now run completely automatic model to CT scan alignment. You can now see the alignment in your 3D view and in the relevant 2D views. You could see the outline of the model tightly hugging the outline of the teeth. And once you've confirmed the correct model alignment, simply click on next. Select the relevant tooth to be added to the treatment plan by left clicking on the tooth. You have the general overall size of the tooth in the bottom left that you could select and click the implant button to select implant system width and length of the implant that you want to place. Of course, you'd be able to modify the implant size later if necessary. After you've selected the relevant implant, simply click on OK. Software now prompts you to click once in the relevant section where the tooth should be placed. I am intentionally going to click a bit off to the side and we're going to see the software run the automatic implant placement. So I'm going to left click with my mouse button. We can see the software is examining the relevant positioning and we can see that the tooth together with the implant has now been placed. If we go ahead and click on next, we can confirm the alignment of the tooth with the implant in the 2D view as well. If we use the slider, we could rotate around the implant in 360 degrees. If we need to fine tune the placement of the implant, simply hover over, grab the circle widget, and rotate in the relevant direction. You can also move the implant by just grabbing the implant and moving it. I'm going to click undo to return the implant to its previous positioning. At this point also, if you decide that you want to place a different size implant, simply right click on the implant, choose replace, select the relevant implant system width and length, and then click OK. I'm going to jump out of the wizard for a minute to demonstrate the implant accuracy and then we'll continue with the wizard process flow. Here we could see the results of the automatic implant placement and we can view the accuracy in conjunction with viewing the automatic CT tooth segmentation. And here we're viewing the results of the automatic CT tooth segmentation with the automatically placed implant next to it. In addition, we could turn on our automatically segmented mandible, which is done also with complete automization, and we can check the accuracy of the implant in the bone by looking at our segmented mandible. We could select the surface, change the transparency, and here we could see our implant placed in the automatically segmented bone in relation to the automatically segmented CT teeth. And now we'll continue with the wizard step-by-step -step tutorial by clicking on next. And we could see the implant, the model, and the brown software guide tube. The brown software guide tube represents the exact positioning and size of the hole that's going to be in the surgical guide. And we're going to proceed now by marking our surgical guide curve. So throughout Blue Sky Plan, you could rotate by using the left mouse button to grab and drag. But when it comes to marking something, hold down the shift key and click with your left mouse button. Simply proceed to define the area on which the surgical guide should be created. When you need to rotate, let go of the shift key 
rotate by grabbing and dragging with your left mouse button and then once again hold down shift while you continue to draw the surgical guide curve. When you get to the end, simply grab the green node to the start point, let go, the software will merge them together. And at this point, you could review the surgical guide curve to make sure it's continuous and placed exactly how you would like it placed. Once you've completed drawing the surgical guide curve, simply click Next. And we could see the surgical guide appear on the screen almost magically. We could see how the hole for the surgical guide is positioned exactly in the same position as the software, as the brown software guide tube. We could also see that there are windows created automatically adjacent to the osteotomy to improve visibility. And once we've confirmed our surgical guide, we could go ahead and click on next. The software now prompts you to choose a location where the surgical guide should be saved. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop. I'll click on new folder to create a new folder and I'll call the folder SG for surgical guide, export demo and click on okay. The software is now asking if you would like to complete the case approval form. This is a form exactly for that, for case approval. So if you're going to be sending the case to a lab or to an associate and you want to approve the planning, simply click the relevant boxes and click apply and save. So what opens on your screen now is a lab prompt order form. If you are going to be manufacturing the surgical guide, printing the surgical guide in-house, just go ahead and exit out and close it. If you would like to place the order for the surgical guide to be fabricated, you could do so at $49 plus $29 um, an implant. Go ahead and complete the order form and submit the order. What's left to do is to save the report. So I'm going to go back to the same folder that I have on my desktop and click on OK. And we could see the automatically generated drilling report that's saved to the folder. And if we refer back to Blue Sky Plan, Treatment Plan, and the drilling report has been saved to the folder. And that is how to plan a one implant case using the step-by-step -step tutorial and the new automatic implant placement.